Hello, Gemini Sun and Gemini Ascendant. This is your March astrology recording. So, Gemini, there's the end is in sight. That is the message that I'm getting for you. Is that for some of you, it's been a long haul that you've been carrying a bunch of burdens. There's been either confusion or stress or obstacles in your way, and the the road is opening. Maybe there's been a, you know, a crash up ahead and a traffic jam in your life. And now you're clearing past the, the wreckage and the road ahead, everything is picking up steam and moving forward. We enter into March with a bang off of the last um, solar eclipse in Pisces. And that is highlighting your, your path in life. Are you on the path in life that you choose? And if you are, if you feel that you are not doing what you truly choose to do as a choice, not as a, well, it's better than nothing, then really full speed ahead for you. And if your path in life, whether it's around relationships, whether it's around career, whether it's around education, if it's something that you feel that you have not chosen, isn't feeling right for you, that this is this is a sense of belonging, I belong here, I belong doing this, then you could make some changes by the end of the month. The Venus retrograde on the 4th of February is right connected to um, off the two days after the Jupiter-Uranus opposition. This is like boom a boomerang energy of explosive, let's get going, let's make things happen, let's make life happen. There could be, you know, how much fun do I want it? How much time do I have for fun versus how much time do I have for the serious, more serious things in life that I'm responsible for? That could be a little bit of a duality that comes up for you too. The Venus retrograde for you is just a reminder to reconnect with friends, those who you really value, people you really value, and enjoy them, a sense of enjoying, a sense of, hey, I, you know, let's do something to, together. Um, the 20th, when the sun goes into Aries, the equinox time, this is a very powerful time on the planet for Western civilization because we have for generations, thousands of years, have this internal rhythm of between the sun and the moon, equal day, equal night. And at that time, the last 10 days of March, you may be wondering or balancing out your life. What, is, what needs to be, be redistributed in your life so you feel things are more equal? whether it's financially, whether it's time-wise with friends, whether it's your focus in terms of your career or your educational pursuits, realigning that distribution of your time and effort and your own personal resources. Sometimes it's redistribution of, I'm gonna put money here instead of over here. The Aries, New moon is on the 27th, and it once again, it's highlighting hopes and dreams and wishes. And it's a reminder that if something hasn't been going so great in your life, have hope. You know, keep, there's such a powerful energy this month with visualization, with connecting with the higher side, with connecting with, with vision. And so there's this visionary energy by the end of the month. And yes, it does mean connecting with friends and all that good stuff and maybe looking at a place where you can, a, a club you want to join or a place you want to go with some friends, new, something new along that line. But deeper than that, it's a visionary energy of reuniting hope of your future and the willingness to put some fire, some energy, some effort into manifesting that which you want. The, the full moon on the 12th, if you can take just a little time to do a ritual on that full moon, that is 
very strong of connecting with powerful, like channeling wisdom for yourself that will help ground you about where you want to go next, whether it's physically, you know, moving, or how you want to express yourself in life, whether it's a job or simply um, a, something you love to do, a creative endeavor. Thanks so much for tuning in and thank you for being a subscriber.